All right, welcome back. We're talking about this new system that's going to come into play. All of a sudden, we go from two to four, now 12 in the playoff. Some say it should be 16. Well, I know you like 16. I kind of like 16 as well. But what do you make of this system, Will? And do you think it is something that this group has done so that they deter people from going to all these different, you know, big mega conferences and keep conferences valuable well, to the top and I seat. think that you want to be able to have situations where we can have what we had on Thursday night too right where we can have rivals playing each other instead of being splintered off into I mean the reason it took 10 years the brawl took a 10 year hiatus is because they went to different conferences after the ACC split up I think they're they're very aware of that and I look I mean I'm a big there are columns I wrote in Florida in 2002 and 2003 saying it should be 16 team playoff I'm all for it wow you're a soothsayer in that it's it's I was a cranky old man when I was a young old man. That's what it was. It's going to happen, it, it, though. Eventually, it's going to happen. You know, the argument is going to change to why is the fourth best SEC team out and the champion of the American Conference or somebody is in? Again, I mean, the value of the conference. Right. But it'll create that talk. There'll still be more of that talk, which, you know, NCAA loves. And, you know, the reason that they moved it to 16 is because of um, cash. Yeah. 12, you mean? Yeah, or did yeah, 12. 12. And cash. Right. Ca more yeah. cash will be 16. Right. Well, <laughs> and who knows? A true soothsayer would have said the Rutgers and UCLA to the Big Ten <laughs> and uh, you know, Texas to the Big the SEC. I, I mean, I, I love it, but I've been talking about this my whole life, I feel like, uh, since since Penn State got screwed in 1994, not going to play for a national title game. But it's you, you have the Cinderella also. aspect, which is what? That's right. Since the Cinderella aspect, which I think is huge, having that, that right. just that throw them the bone. You know, every once in a while you get the upset. It'll be fun. You, it'll You'll get people a rooting interest. You'll, that'll be the darling for those two mm -hmm. weeks. The on-campus thing I love. I mean, that's going to be. You imagine the atmosphere right. on these campus. Oh, yeah. I mean, and 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 let's, I mean it, it, we were talking about this, you know, upstairs. Like, it, it lends itself more to what March Madness is, the, the, the romanticism right. of March Madness is. That AAC team, if they're the six, like, they're going to be, they might be viewed as like a cop and state type. But if they knock off an SEC power, if they knock off a Bama or a Georgia, that is a huge, huge thing. And that's only going to stoke, you know, stoke more interest in the, in the I sport. I thought they were concerned about player safety. <laughs> yeah, for years and years, we heard. We heard. Just like right. the NFL, one to 17, and soon to be 18 games, yeah. right. right? Each school's getting a what? What's, what's the Big Ten TV contract? How much a, a it's year? It's, a, it's like 100 it's, million, well, something a, like that. It's a billion, Ridiculous. over a billion. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, you can afford here. to expand scholarship. The, the scholarship alone will go up to 105 players. Ah, next one. Next yeah, one out. Next one out. Yeah. Well, that should start, they say, maybe 2024, latest 2026. We'll see how it goes, but it'll be interesting to watch, and it'll make things a lot more interesting, I think, for a lot more teams as opposed to the top four. When we come back, we're going to talk about the NFL. Prediction time. Who's going to win the AFC North? What about Super Bowl contenders? We'll look into that globally next right here on the Number One Cochran Sports Showdown.